In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the RTMP authentication process with Wirecast. Let's start by scheduling a broadcast. We'll call it Wirecast Test. And for source, you're going to want to make sure you pick an RTMP source. I'm going to use the static RTMP for this, but you can use single use. It will work exactly the same. I'm going to schedule this broadcast to start about 10 minutes from now. I'm going to make it a public broadcast and schedule. Let's now jump over to Wirecast, go to Output and Output Settings. Then you want to find the BoxCast integration. And for the authentication piece, you actually want to use your BoxCast login, email, and password. Once I hit OK, you'll see that my uh, broadcast has now popped up here in Wirecast. I'm going to hit OK again in the bottom right corner, and I'm going to hit Stream. So now I'm actually sending data from Wirecast to BoxCast, um, and everything uh, is authenticated and is working. The one key thing to note, guys, is you cannot authenticate a broadcast till 10 minutes before it starts. So just keep that in mind while you're using this Wirecast integration. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at questions at boxcast.com, and we'd be happy to help. Thanks, guys.